Good evening, gentlemen, ladies. Today we're going to delve off into why every single man needs to have a holding company LLC and an operating company LLC. But before we get into that, I need to share with you something that happened with, to me today. It was kind of interesting. It's very interesting. I was in the gym working out, talking to this guy. And for some reason, he was kind of chatty and I was kind of chatty. And he's like, so what do you do? And I told him and, you know, he was um, happened to be going through a divorce. And I was like, man, sorry to hear that. That's really bad. And he's like, yeah. You know, she's trying to do this. She's trying to do this. And, you know, I was like, hey, um, you have a job or you're self-employed. He said, oh, I'm self-employed. And I was like, you have an LLC? And it's like, yeah. And then we just had a little chit-chat. And I was like, well, you know, you haven't filed your taxes yet. And you could move some money around. And we had a very interesting conversation. And just say he left out there very, very happy. Because typically when people are going through the breakup and stuff. And you're not thinking very clearly because I was like, I reminded him, I was like, you're an entrepreneur. You beat the odds, man. You got control. Because he said, uh, you know, her attorney's been subpoenaing all these papers and tax records and stuff. And I was like, let him subpoena him. Let him get him. Because, see, it's going to be your current income. He said, well, the last three years have just not been as good. I was like, Excellent. You're looking at that as a bad thing. That's a good thing. You know, you could just mess around on your P&L statement just a little bit and hand them that because only you know how much money you have made unless you're just really crazy in the crackhead. And he started laughing. He said, no, I'm pretty thrifty. Even better. Because, you know, you've got your personal checking account and you've got your corporate checking accounts and you can kind of keep money in there. And he was just like, Oh, he's like, yeah. <laughs> so I was going to do a different stream today, but what is the best time to buy life insurance before you're dead? What's the best time to buy health insurance before you get sick? When is the best time to get car insurance before you have a wreck? So what is the, what is the best time for a single man to create a LLC structure and put assets in his name before he gets married. Because this is another thing that happens. When you get married in certain states, I don't know all of them, but they're community property states, so whatever is yours is hers, unless you stipulate. And this is one of the things I do for all of my clients. I put this little clause in there that, in the case of a divorce, Blah, 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 stipulates that they will not force the sale of a company to be paid off. Because if you don't understand how the law works and you're in a state like California, I know it's community property, that you can have a company and someone can get divorced and to pay her off, you could be forced to sell off assets to satisfy that debt. Yes, you can mess up your whole game plan. So, what if you just create an LLC long before those events happen? What if you had an LLC and you had your assets that were clearly yours before the marriage? Because there's another little thing that happens with that is uh, commingling. You know, we don't know. Like, let's say you paid 90% of the mortgage, right? She paid 10%. Or she didn't even pay anything. Guess what? She gets half the house. Unless you can show that you know money came in and this is another reason for you to have an LLC and operating an account so you can start having the habit of keeping very good records great records the best records the court has ever seen to state your case cuz I told him what happened to me and he was his mind was blown because he told me about one of his friends one of his friends who makes about 4 million a year he got kicked out the house, domestic abuse charge. He had to pay the mortgage on the house. The house wasn't paid off. He had to pay private school. He had to pay her alimony because they had four kids. And he had to pay child support. Now, 
Guess how much this man was paying here in the state of Georgia. Take a wild guess. Just put it in the comments. I'll tell you later. And if I forget, just remind me because it will blow your mind. So what we're going to talk about is how you need to change your attitude because most people look for prevention and protective measures after the horse has left the barn. This is not the time to dilly dally. Now for a minimum cost, you can create yourself an LLC, an operating company, and be paying about, depending on where you live, state of Georgia, 140 a year. 140 a year, how, how much is your car insurance? Put down how much you pay every month for your car insurance in the comments. Put down how much you pay down for your health insurance. Put down how much you pay for your PMI on your house. When you compare and contrast those costs, 140 a year doesn't seem like a lot of money for some serious protection. Because as I was talking about yesterday, if you want to beat a system, you need a bigger system or a system that is equal to the system you're dealing with. And that corporate system is one of the best things to ever happen on this planet. If you have one. How many folks here in the stock market? How many folks in here? And I'm going to qualify this because we'll get people like, hey, I have an index fund. I have 500 bucks in there. And they can legitimately say they're in the stock market. How many people in here have 150 in the stock market, 250, 350, 500 K in the stock market, and you're younger than 50? Please put those numbers and stuff down there and you could just round them off and just like me, I have 500K and whatever. Because I guarantee you, most of you are not going to have that. And one of the reasons is no one really impressed on you the importance of this type of activity. No one said that, look, you're 22 right now. You clean, you go to sleep, you wake up, your breath still f smells fresh. You can eat pizza all night. You don't gain any weight. You like invincible. You're like Superman or Supergirl right now. It's like that. You can go out and party all night, two hours sleep, wake up and have a productive day at work. You can do that because you're superhuman right now. 30 years from now, well, let's say 10 years from now, that's going to slow up a little bit. It ain't going to slow up a lot, but it's going to slow up a little bit. 40 years from now. It's really going to slow up unless you take care of yourself. You're going to have to literally fight that process. And 50 years from now, you're going to really have to fight. So what I'm saying is that time is coming, whether you prepare for it or not. So all my single dudes out there who are not married, who do not have any kids, this video is for you. First thing you do is you form a holding company. Now, why does one for, form a holding company and then have an operating LLC? That's like having two bitty things. It's like, well, I got my LLC. Well, remember what I told you about family law and state law? Let's say you are married to your best friend. It goes well for many years, a decade. Then you come home and you find out that Jody's up in your bed. Yes, Jody. Jody's in your bed, boning your chick. Now, the law does not take her behavior into account for the resolution or the dissolution of the marriage. So what you can do, you know, because Jody up in your house, is you can have your wife and your kids on the operating company and you can have yourself on the holding company. Now, what does that do? Well, she's part of the company but she ain't part of the holding company. And what you can do is some financial trickeration to reduce or cut her out because since she is a member of that company, you can put all kinds of magic in the LLC articles organization, dictating this, dictating that. In case this happens, you can do all this stuff because see, you need to do it because well, right now, you got blinders on. She's so pretty. Those titties are so nice. They, and they taste good too. She will never do you wrong. Never, ever do you wrong. That's your ride or die. Until. What's that? I smell Jody. 
Jody, Jody all up in here. I smell Jody cologne. Oh no, there ain't nothing. I just got some new perfume. It smells like a man's cologne. I am telling you, it is my new perfume. See, smell. I must have been sweating or something. And as someone who's been through it, that loving, that kind, that considerate creature can turn into a demon from the nether worlds on you in a heartbeat because, and part of it is the courts do this. The courts force someone to be the decision maker, the person in charge, the one with the final say. So she's going to fight for that because she doesn't want to share any of that with you because right now she is mad at you. She mad at you, even though Jody was up in your house, but she's still mad at you. And she's going to stay mad. And then when she calm down, mark my words, player, she's going to try to come back. Forget the fact that Jody was in there. Jody then left all the Jody funk up in there, all the Jody semen all. Nah, that don't matter. That was in the past. <laughs> that was in the past. Stop being silly, Carl. <laughs> Forget about it. It's just in the past. We have something substantial. It's something beautiful. It's something that we have put together over these last 10, 15, 20 years. Don't let like Jody come between us and I was just mad. I mean, yeah, I told them that you were an abuser. Yes, I told them that you molested little Jody. I mean, little Carl and Amy. It wasn't true. I was just mad. Can you forgive me? Can you get over this? Well, let me. Oh, you see, you like that. You, you, you don't want to forgive nobody. See, Carl. Every protective instinct that's deep in her is going to come out and it's going to come out very bad and it's going to come out very harsh and you will be right in that bullseye and you're wondering what happened well see carl years ago you were watching this channel called hustlers kung fu and you listened to that dude named glendon and you went ahead and created your holding company and you created your operating company and you wrote these ridges, these righteous, these sanctimonious articles of organization. And you realized she couldn't get all the money. She couldn't even get half because you, Carl, are in control. It still doesn't take away the sting. It doesn't take away the bad taste of Jody. Mm -mm, it doesn't. But you have the ability to start off fresh with your money intact. And this is a true story. This is like my second. Well, we weren't even married, but because today after I was talking to dude, because sometimes I forget how much I know because, you know, I walk around with it. And it's like, you know, you're married to a hot chick, right? It's been 10, 15 years, and she just looks like a chick, but she's really, really hot. But to you, she's just like regular because you see it every day, right? Well, that's how I kind of look at some of this information until, you know, someone says something or someone triggers something, and they're like, oh, my goodness. Wow, that's really deep. And I thought I would just spit this game to you, Carl, today because you need it. You need it like you don't believe it. Because the thing is, for the price of setting this up and what it can do for your future is ridiculous. It is totally ridiculous. Because uh, I didn't do any videos today. I was doing a lot of stuff in the Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills dot com today. And I, I was going over stuff. I changed stuff. I added stuff to new bundles. I changed pricing. And I've been thinking all day. And then that conversation with uh, the guy at the gym <laughs> players you need to do this now before you get into before you get caught up before those titties get into you before you know that booty's all up in your nose you know you just got you can't even see your face because the boot your nose is just sticking out of the booty you know i mean seriously you gotta protect yourself you gotta take these steps now the first time I did not know this knowledge and I was, they tore me a new butthole 
I didn't know what happened. I didn't see it coming. And like I'm telling you, that's my story. You know, the, the woman I laid down with, the woman I said, I love you. And we had these intimate talks 2 a.m. in the morning became Beelzebub, grew horns and a tail and claws. I'm serious. I was like, who, who are you? Where is my wife? Who, who, who are you? I, you be gone, be gone, be gone. Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I mean, you go. And then, you know, she like, it's a transformer. It's like, ch -ch -ch -ch, and she'll transform her back into your wife. But at any point, Beelzebub can come out. And Beelzebub ain't nothing to play with. So how does one begin to protect themselves? Because uh, there was someone that was asking this question. Hopefully you're watching. Like, how did I know what courts to go to? And one of my friends, he had to set me straight on this. He's like, you don't understand because I call him the PhD of black folks because he he's like my source for certain behaviors because I'm a unicorn. I haven't gone through certain things. I think differently. So I need a perspective of someone who's outside of me. You know, I need a lot of perspectives. And he tells me, he said, OK, because, see, I think going down to the courthouse is a natural thought process. It's like, OK, I got to go to court. Let me go down to the courthouse. Let me follow the rules of evidence and procedure and courthouse procedures and watch these attorneys perform. And he's like, no, no, dude, 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 no, stop it, unicorn. He said the average dude who's got a situation with court is going to put it off to the last minute or he ain't even going to show up. And I'm like, well, if you don't show up, do you know what happens to you? He said they don't care. They don't have no money. They don't have no money for no attorney. It's just like duck and dodge. Put everything in your mama's name. <laughs> I was just sitting there like, no, they ain't happening to me. And uh, he, he, he really improved my framework of understanding that the average guy is so scared that they don't even know that you go to the courthouse, uh, the sheriffs, and that's who guards the courthouse. They're super, super friendly. They will like, you can just say, hey, you can go there like this. Hey, my name's Carl. Um, you know, my wife was with Jody. And I just want to come here and like watch some of these court proceedings. Could you direct me? And they're like, oh, go to the courtroom, go. And it's posted, the docket and names, because all this is public record. This is not secret. Like uh, family court, a lot of the records are sealed. But, you know, to you, you can go unless it's a closed proceeding where they just ain't letting anyone in but the family. But if it's a general proceeding, you can show up and you can sit there and you can watch and you can educate yourself because, believe it or not, how you speak to the judge determines a lot of things. And I'm not talking about attitude. I'm talking about knowledge. You go up and like, hey, uh, I'm Glendon Cameron. I'm representing myself, your honor. Uh, my first piece of evidence I want to present. See, you start off like that. They're going to like, okay, well, he's pro se. He kind of knows some stuff because the thing is uh, most judges hate pro se representatives because they don't know the law. They don't know what they're doing, and they can get a they can get the judge a charge because the judge gets mad and see, like me, you know. Do you know you can get a judge in trouble by filing an ethics complaint? Most folks don't know this. Most folks don't know you can go tell on the judge. They don't even know where to go. Um, last year there was like twelve hundred lawsuits against judges. You know how many judges? Hold on, I don't know. So before I ask you, I'm going to find out how, hold on, let's find out together. My people, let's find out together how many judges are there in America. And I'm, I'm going to educate you. All right. No, no, not federal judges. Let's see. How many judges in the United States? Okay, that, because <laughs> like a lot of people don't know this, it's kind of, it's uh, like every state has a bench. Every state has a state court. Every state has a Supreme Court. And then there's federal jurisdictions. I think there's 15. For you to get a judge in trouble, you got to, well, first you got to go through was either an administrative branch or judicial qualifications, which we don't have in the state of Georgia since the last election. People voted to close it because they didn't know what they voted on. Anyway, 
Uh, most states still have it. So what you do is you write your ethics complaint and you send it to the appropriate place. And what they're going to do is, yo, we need to see you on this day. And, you know, it's not going to be any big public. But the thing is, most judges have never had an ethics complaint placed against them because most folks don't know you can do that. So the, they kind of reckless with your case and on you. Like that stuff Judge Judy, Judy be doing and going off. You can't. That's called intemperate conduct. You can't do that. You ever notice when you see like a real judge, he's very uh, reasonable. He's very professional and they don't yell and stuff. You can't. They can't be yelling at you from the bench. But since you don't know that, Carl, they get away with it. There's a lot of reasons that a lot of people every day their rights are trampled on because they don't know the law. Hence the reason I went down there and I educated myself. And I found out a lot of stuff by just sitting there and watching how they approach the judge, what to say. Just sitting there and watching for free. Just saying. Um, all right, let me go into the comments real quick. Uh, I don't even know how long this is because I, I am having a good time. All right. Uh, let's see. Whoa. Um, what's up, Afri? You've been here early. Leslie, what's up? Johnny Walden stuck on 285. Yes, I saw the traffic was kind of heinous on the way in here. Uh, everywhere else, when you do the paperwork for your holding company, LLC, and ask you what kind of business, you put what kind of business you start and player. It's real simple. James, what's up? Cartel, what's up? Diana Thompson, what's up? Marquise, what's up? Young Brandon, what's going on? Rick James, I know you get a lot of jokes about your name. What's up? Ganja. Jay Cleveland, what's up? Lando. <laughs> he just read the title. Yeah, a lot of folks in here today. Since Reality, what's up? Yep, that's why Shaq's ex-wife was desperate to move to California. Wow. What's up, Soul Alchemy? Gone just so, so I can create an LLC while testing business ideas and when it's viable, I can transfer asset ownership to the LLC. You could. Just depends on what you're doing. Ganja, 500K, J. Cleveland, 725. Hey, Afri. J. Cleveland, 207. 100K per child. What does his friend do? His friend owns an engineering firm. Cash Martin, what's up? Uh, he was paying $150,000 per month. Wait, wait for it. Alimony, uh, spousal support, and child support. Plus, he still had to pay the mortgage. Health insurance and all this other stuff. So it really came out to about 180 k a month. Which you think if you're making four million, that seems like okay, you can handle that. Well, four million that you claim on your taxes, they're gonna take take all take take a million. They're gonna take a million. <laughs> well, they would have took a million uh, before, so they're gonna take a million. So. He's paying like one po almost two million to her, and they took a million, and he already had bills and stuff, so he was living on two hundred and fifty k. Which I know you go like, oh, poor pity him, but you make it four million and you living on two hundred and fifty k, make you a little salty, a little, little, little salty. Uh, Jerome, we paid two fifty to make an LLC. Like I said, I didn't know where it was. But still, it's cheap. In Texas, it's three hundred. It's fourteen k in the market count. What do you mean? You need a registered agent, etc. What's up, Dewan? What's up, Ray LLC? Afri, what's going on? Kid Jam, Kid Jam, real talk on that, Jody. Oh, man. <laughs> Tim Faye is a Jody life. He will hit that back door. He will hit it. He will hit it. God, y'all share this video with my friend that's planning to get married soon. Oh, you you need to. What's up, Lamo? Sarana, what's going on? What's up, Ever? 
Since the reality, I believe it costs 105 to file an LLC in Missouri. What's up, Kindle Vision? Uh, Joshua Hill, I always thought having an LLC alone was like building a house on a fractured foundation. I'm, I'm going to get into that in a minute. What's up, Baruch? Sure, Ganja. <laughs> Dang, Leslie, what's going on with the smiley faces and the skulls? Oh, Nas, it's too late for Nas. Dante, I've seen the price in email. Yeah, Brotherhood, you got to do this before. Because see, the thing is, after the horse has left the the, the gate, it's kind of stupid to close the gate. The damage is done. Unless you can get that horse back. It's cheaper to keep her. What's up, Thriller, Tim Fizer, Al Gordon? Oh, really, Lushu? I didn't know that. Dante, can you get a lawyer in trouble? I have a lawyer that has taken more than two years to work out our, our mold case. He continued to not answer calls. My wife is fed up. Possibly, you can also sue lawyers. You know, a lot of folks didn't know that. It's called um, malpractice. Wow. Um, Rockstone. Welcome back, Glenda. Truthfully, through in hindsight, you knew you weren't right for... Um, I wouldn't say that if she wasn't like religious, we'd probably still be together. She became a Jehovah Witness on me, so that's a whole nother video. Cash metrics, you going? You know, I'm I'm gonna lead you to the water, but I'm gonna charge you to drink. So, um, that's in the course, and we'll talk about that later. Wild Jones, what's up? Wow. What's up, Charm Smith? Perception Media, what's up? Sense of reality. <laughs> uh, Jeremiah Ford, how much does it cost to do an LLC? In some states, as cheap as uh, 100 bucks. Places like California and New York, it could be $1,000 to get it done. But I'm telling you, now that's just to get it done. The registration fee is going to be significantly less than that. Edward Hill, this information will be in the course. Well, actually, the holding company and stuff, oh, that's already in the course. Perceptions Media, what do you do first? The holding operation or the LLC? You do the holding company first. You do it first, and then you form the other companies through the holding company. What's up, MJ Electronics? Uh, people were criticizing why he did those videos. The man is hurt. I'm going to say something. I think if, you know, what he's doing, talking about it is healthy because this is what gets most men. They don't talk about it. So many men have been screwed over, messed over. And like, I'm going to give you the classic example of trying to be, quote, a man. There was this rapper. I forget his name, but I think he was dealing with, um, Candy, she's on Real Housewives of Atlanta. She used to be a member of Escape. And he was dealing with, some, I don't know if it's her. Don't quote me on this because I'm not sure. But essentially, he was on Vlad. He was talking about how her mother ran over his foot. Understand this. Car, two to 5,000. I don't know what kind of vehicle it was. But car is two to 3,000 pounds. And SUV is four to 7,000 pounds. So, Whatever she ran, she ran over his foot trying to hit him. Broke his foot. He had to go to the hospital and get a cast. And you know what he said? I didn't tell on her because, you know, I'm a man. I, I didn't want to get in trouble. This woman committed assault against his person. And he's so worried about appearing to be soft that he'd rather pay hospital bills. More than likely, he still got pain from this incident because he wanted to quote be the man and not get hurt in trouble because men don't get women in trouble i would have called the police on her so quite so fast but this is what happens a lot of men don't talk about this stuff so this is one of the reasons a lot of men don't talk about it and a lot of men don't do anything and this is why so many of these women are crazy 
Because they know they ain't going to get in trouble. He ain't going to tell on me. No one going to believe him. DA producer, what's up? Ray LLC, should I create an S Corp or an LLC for my courier service business? Depends on what you want to do, player. See, the answers to these questions are based on what you intend to do with the business. It's not like, well, I'm going to start this business. It depends on your family structure. It depends on how many partners you have. So that gets into a lot of questions. And an S Corp is just a tax designation. So you fill out a form and then you turn your corporation LLC into an S Corp. Practice speaking now. LLC really protects a man that sets from bitter women. How many of y'all were on the live stream when crazy came up in here? Remember that? Okay. I got a such Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Do you know if you form a trust for your kids and you put specific language in there, in the future, if your child gets divorced, that money doesn't go into the uh, income proceedings and she can't get none of that money. The law is powerful, man. It's powerful. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, practice of speaking now. I have a situation. Do you see me hiding? My passport still works. I went to London. I'm living my life. A lot of the men who have the situation I have would be hiding, not you know trying to work under the table and stuff. I don't do any of that. None of it. Because I have proper protection. There was used to be this attorney that came on. It was like, uh, he was real dry and he was like, debt settlement and asset protection. That's what he would say, right? Because <laughs> he was a bankruptcy lawyer. It's yes, it's uh, in fact cats or will be. Uh, Nicholas Parkinson, what about buying a house under your holding company before you get married so she won't be able to take it via divorce? Well, it depends. Do you have enough money to pay for it? Because unless your company has credit, you're not going to be able to get a house and put it into the LLC. But if you have an LLC house that's paid off, free and clear, what you can do is put it in the LLC. Or you can even put it in a trust and that's yours. And then you can have language that says that if I get married and see, this is why you kind of have people have to sign some stuff because let's say you put all this stuff in here and put all this language and you got married and you didn't tell her. Um, she could penetrate that. But if you just like, look, blame it on your attorneys. It's like, and this is something else that a lot of people do too late. You should have this conversation before you ask her to get married because she's like, you know, we're getting pretty serious and I got a situation with some family stuff and anyone I marry is going to sign a prenup. Are you OK with that? Find this out early because if she freaks out and uh, to be fair, if you pop in on her a month before you get married, that's really dirty. So you need to be clean about it and just like, well, the way it's set up, you know, and we just have to sign it And this way before you get too far down the road. But, you know, in this way, she has time to think about it, absorb it. It ain't popped on her at the last minute like so many dudes do. <laughs> it's just crazy. Uh, Perception media. Wow, bro, I was born into that media. I know how it goes. Glad I left it alone. Keep good people dumb. Wow. What's up, Jeremiah? Riley Richardson, what's up? No, you don't have to do it secretly. No, 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 no. You don't see this thing. All right. Okay. You know my story. I got my child support case dismissed. Now, she is still out there, but she can't get at me. Partly because she don't know where I live. <laughs> That's a big part of it. And how does that happen? Why does she know where I live? Because I have the ability to get a house and not have my name on it. And, I, you know, my my cars, you know, people like, hey, about your tax or run your tax. My tax goes to my business address. Even though it's illegal for anyone to run your tax other than a cop. And sometimes it's illegal for a cop to run your tax if they're profiling. So, you know, they just can't like get on the go to the database and then run your tag and because you know 
every day that you're driving, everybody can see your tag. <laughs> so all of the hundred people, hundreds of people who are behind you on your highway, they can see your tag. That's why I like when people block out their tag and stuff, it cracks me up. No, no, you could be, you could, you come clean with it. You could tell them all this other stuff. Uh, last year was doing this court proceeding pros as well. Okay. I'll check that out. I didn't know. I knew he spoke a lot of languages and stuff. Uh, Rockstone, thanks, Glendon. I'm not down protecting my own relationship, drama, but you have started your platform if you were still together. Actually, yes, I did start it. I don't know if I would have had the child support court case, uh, but I would have had the LLC stuff. I would have, yeah, I would have had most of it, but probably not on the child support thing. Klein in, okay, 60 bucks. Uh, since reality, how do you think family court dynamics will be practiced in the future? As more women make more money and as more women end up on the side where they got to pay somebody a lot of money, laws will change. As more women because we're, we're not at the tipping point, but there's a lot of women paying crazy child support because they are the breadwinner in the family. And they made a deal with the husband for him to stay home and they had two or three kids. So he got that money. William Watts, that's what you. <laughs> oh, man. Erica Williams, bad behavior must have consequences. I agree with you 100%. crazy uh last shoe i don't i mean you know i don't even know where he, he is uh baroque winters any advice from mary guys cheaper the keeper um you know your situation better than i do essentially if you've been married a number of years probably over two and you try to do some stuff like this and she don't know about it and she gets a good attorney they could probably pry all that stuff apart What's uh, what, what? Rona Stalker? I don't think she's here today. Really, Moses filed for bankruptcy as a shield to prevent the divorce from proceeding. Wow. Joshua Hill, do you know anything about protecting a deceased parents when the surviving parent is remarried? Uh, typically, if you know, mom or dad was married and someone, either mom or dad, died. The living partner usually just gets everything. So unless there was a will in place before, no. Joshua Hill. What if she calls you for money and you're not even together? No, that's what you say. Wow, I, I, I didn't even know he was going through this. Community laws. Well, uh, I don't like my voice. You just power through it, man. He had a mini stroke? Wow, that's deep. Cartel 007. Okay. Uh, why take someone for child support if they take care of their kids? All right, I'll share a little more information. Uh, when she was here, her name's Madison. I was there every day, was buying diapers buying formula actually she got really gassy so i had to, we had to go through like three different formulas and there was this super expensive formula that worked just fine and i went up and i went and got it and then you know it was like 38 bucks 40 bucks a can me amazon.com i found uh, cases of it for like 120 it was like almost half ordered it so i was taking care of her uh, essentially what she did she assaulted me and then she ran up to New York and she prevented, you know, because I think a father's duty is to protect, to provide, but most importantly, to be present. But since I can't be present, the way the court system is designed is I'll just be a visitor in my child's life with no rights, no say so. I'll just be like an uncle that gets to pay child support for 18 years. Uh, I don't think that's cool. I don't think in paying a, a ransom, as I call it. So. I fought it and I won. And someday she's going to have to reconcile because 
that kid, Madison, is going to start asking questions, and I'm easy to find. That's one of the killer things about it because when I was going through this, the first I knew the first step was just getting the child support case uh, dismissed. That was the first step because she can refile. So I was like, okay, what can I do to protect myself so I'm not living under a rock or I'm not living in fear or like, oh, she going to put the – so this is when I came up with this system because I already halfway knew how to do corporations and LLCs. It's just I really got deep into it. So Cartel Devil Over 7, spite, meanness, nastiness, poor character, disgusting personality, all that stuff. What's up, Professor Lex? Eric Williams, my dad had to pay 5000 to back child support at the airport and our family was not flying to Germany. They will flag that passport. And this is why I fought it. Because, as you saw, I went to London and I went to a few other places. Because, um, essentially, if you don't fight this stuff, and this is what a lot of men do. They, they get served to know this and they ignore it. So, the machine starts. It's like, she shows up, he ain't there, boom, you get what you want. And, oh, and the thing is, they don't come get you. It's just they seize your tax returns. Or in the case of Erica's father, they take money or they flag your passport and all this other nasty stuff. Because, see, this, this is one of the things about being a digital citizen and being an independent person is I can make money, but I'm not part of the system. I'm that, I'm that purple fish. Uh, I'm glad I'm single. <laughs> Uh, perception media, all that's in the course. I lay it out real simple because uh, I, I will talk about this later because uh, I've redone everything. Harmony H, what about separated or divorce for a year? Uh, since you folks are still married and no proceedings have been gone, anything you do within about two to three years, that can be pierced. So... I would put on my big boy pants or big girl pants and go talk to him or her and say, look, let's work this out and do what we need to do and get divorced. Mohav, can you set up protection for your company after falling behind on child support? I have a friend who's 18. No. All right. This is let's get real clear about this. The reason that I fought my case for 14 months because they were trying to grind me down. And I was like, I was like, no, I was like Kung Fu. It was like, huh, 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 all this other stuff. And I actually, one of the magistrates removed herself because she broke the law. And I caught the law and I filed a 14 paid ethics complaint against her. She's no longer there. I don't know if it was my ethics complaint that got her gone, but she ain't there no more. And we got another magistrate who started off the same way and I was like look I got this going on this going on boom 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 she went away for about few, five minutes came back checked the law dismissed so because I didn't want that stuff to happen to Erica I didn't want to be living under a rock I didn't want to be able to have nothing in life because some unhappy person wants me to pay her money that she does not deserve and I, I know she watches these so I'm being extra So once you are in the system, that is very hard to get out of. Like, so if he's 18K in the hole, him, like, let's, let me just say, there's some gangster ways to do it that I will not discuss on YouTube and that'll be in the course. Since reality, would you follow Alan, advice from Alan Roger Curry on relationships? Alan's my boy. <laughs> I, I've known Alan for what since 2008. Mode one. Oh, I'm with mode one. <laughs> I'm with it all day long. So yeah, <laughs> I just fell off into it and started doing a lot of stuff he recommended long before I knew who he was. But yeah, uh, Josh Hill. If all else fails, it's worth hiding a few funds in the Cayman Islands. See. You don't even have to do all that. 
you don't even have to do all that if you know the law. You can. It's just. It's. Let me. Let me where's my pen? Hold on. Um. <laughs> just here we go. How to hide money? One oh one in the U.S. So, what to do if you are on child support already? All right. I'm going to add these sections to don't buy anything yet. Uh, I'm going to point out where I'm going to add it. And how to live off the grid in plain sight. Okay. Um, I was living off the grid in plain sight. I'll talk about that a little bit. The storage auction business, right? It's a cash business. I have a business partner. We had an LLC in her name. You feel me? I was able to get money and not have to give up money. So, you know, you don't have to go to Cayman Islands. Since rally mode day all day one. <laughs> Professor Lex, I knew it. You sound a lot. You know, you know, the first time I experienced the power of telling women the truth, I was in the house in East Point and I had met this tasty, her, th her name was Lena, very nice lady. And she was just so delicious. And I just went over to her at a pizza joint and I was just like, you were just so fucked. You're just so tasty. I just want to take you home and do all kind of nasty stuff to her. And she's like, oh, really? I was like, really? And what you going to do to me? And I whispered in her ear. Lena grabbed her purse and keys and was like, where do you live? Just around the corner. I don't have a car, but I have a house. Bet. And I was like, this is great. This is awesome. So you never know, man. Uh, Afri, I want to live off the grid. All right, uh, let's see. Where are we with the time? Because I actually started this bad boy early. Um, okay, yeah, we got plenty of time. So I will, you know, don't buy anything. Uh, I will direct you where I'm going to put this stuff. Uh, Sarah, not hilarious. Can we all just get along? I'm going to say something that's going to sound really bad, but I'm going to say it anyway. And this is into reference to Sarah Nye's comment. Can we all get along? There are some people who are patently unreasonable. They just do dumb stuff. Until I'm proven wrong, I think it would be easier to find someone else, fall in love, get married and have kids than to reconcile the issues with this person because what she did was so unconscionable and heinous. She attacked me when I had a two month baby, two month old baby in my lap and I could have had her arrested that night. And once again, people are like, Oh yeah, you did the right thing. You didn't have your, the mother of your child arrested. I did the wrong thing because I made a bad decision. That child Madison, she's going to suffer. She's going to suffer. And that's something I got to live with, but I should have had her arrested. And once she realized that I was not someone you could put your hands on and, oh, I'm not going to, oh, I'm not going to punch you or shove you. I'm just going to call the police on you. When she realized I was like that, she, she, she had to flee because more than likely she would have ended up in jail. Uh, Louis so do you think the rise in sexual harassment claims would cause a decline in marriage in any way? Oh, marriage already on the decline. Marriage, is, uh, marriage has been on a decline. When you can get sex from an app, no dating, no going out, no drinks. Marriage has been in trouble for a long time. Community lows like that, what do you mean? Diana Thompson, amen. 
Johnny Wallen, some women are bipolar to real hard to work with. I mean, I'm going to say this. I have, well, I have some chicks that you know, we're just having sex. And I know that probably if this had happened, I would have been like, look, you know, uh, we need to raise this kid. What I'll do is keep her doing it. And they've been like, okay. It'd been just like that. It'd been, no, it wouldn't have done it been all this stuff. Uh, this was the first time she had some real power because I remember when she we were talking, she said, you know, that's my decision if she stays with you. And I'm like, so you're telling me that it's your decision, but it's our kid. Because if it's your decision, I will take you to court. And she flipped out. And that was one of my other poor moves. I didn't really file the court papers soon enough because if I filed them soon enough, she couldn't have left the state. I was like three days too late. Ganja, the court. All right, let, let, let me just explain something to y'all. Look at me. I'm six foot one, 255. On the phone with the judge, I slid the police report across the table to her. She didn't even look at it. She took her word over a police report. This is why, you know, a lot of you are like, oh, you could fight this. And I'm like, you don't really understand the whole dynamics of this situation. The judge was looking at me being a big, muscular, slightly chubby, fat black man. She saw me as the monster. She just lied on the phone and she, she, she ate that up. And because we weren't sworn in, she did not... Com, you know, commit perjury because you have to be sworn in to commit perjury. If you do not uh, commit perjury and you lie to a judge, oh, well. I'm telling you, y'all just don't understand. I've went for this. I went for this for three years. Court didn't care. And this is something else I talk in the courts. If you're not married, the, one, the child is the slave of the property of the mother. Know that. And if she wants to, she can do whatever she wants to with that child and there ain't nothing you can do about it. Nothing unless you go to court and you fight for rights. And I, I'm telling you, like, I got it served and then the judge threw it out because they call it dubious service. Served in front of your apartment because <laughs> she didn't identify herself. I am not kidding you. And when I got served, I didn't even identify myself, but that was good enough. I'm telling you, this system's wicked. Since reality, you and they are, she just <laughs> discuss a live stream. I'll talk to Alan. I mean, no, Alan is really my boy. Um, Thriller AI, I would think that it's hard to prove the law always believe the woman's were first over a man better to have film footage or an incident or DNA evidence. The police told her, they said, look, if he wants you arrested, you would have been arrested. Police report went against her. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. If I had been like some smaller dude and kind of like crying and stuff, maybe she would have believed it. Haha, <laughs> Mo won this like 2% of guys. No, not being impartial at all. This is one of the reasons I wrote the course because I was schooling people in the courthouse. That's funny, Erica. Joshua Hill, I heard someone say the marriage was originally intended to merge tribes and wealth. Seems like the only rich we experience that down the road. Uh, I think there's a lot of truth to that because I live in the neighborhood. A lot of these folks, even they get divorced, they get married again and they're rich. So. Pretty much, Ganja. It is been the bartender. People don't understand that life isn't simply rules, but the manipulation of rules. Glenda did the proper proceedings by the rules, but Glenda knew social and power dynamics to avoid being hurt. I, hey, I'm just playing the cards I was given. Pretty much, Erica. Pretty much, Sean. Diana Thompson, the only reason to marry is children and property. I kind of agree with that. What's up, Albert Loud? Louis the Seller, do you think the sex of the judge matters in these type of cases? Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Um, I can even go ahead and give you some tips. You're better off if you get a younger female judge. Younger female judges tend to be way more impartial. Old judges that's been there uh, during the assault case, which the, the, the only reason they didn't go forward with it was because I waited too long to file. That was on me. Um, old judge. And what they did was they kept um, uh, getting a continuance. This is when you can miss the court and then reset. And they continued two times to get this old judge. And when I walked in the courtroom, I was like, oh, God. Because if we had got a Judge Arrington, I think I would have had a totally different outcome. Oh, yeah, I knew the judges. I was sitting there. I asked them questions and stuff. It was crazy. Ganja, you know that's going to happen. What's up, Charlton? All right, so um, let's kind of get into this. Tyson went to jail because of that female judge that didn't deal with his rape case. I actually saw the show and the girl that said Tyson did that, and I saw how she was acting. I don't think right Tyson raped that girl. I really don't. Mohive. As lawyers say, there's a difference between being criminally guilty and morally guilty. Rudy Dog, absolute gender bias. So let's see. Um, where are we with this? Okay. All right. So let's get into the new Hustlers Kung Fu. Uh, get rid of the judge thing. Make sure that we have sound. We do. All right. Yeah, I, I've changed all that up and I rearranged everything. So this is the deal. Most courses are 99 cents. Not, I mean, 99, not 99 cents. Don't get carried away. $99. Uh, then there's a suit like Tax Slayer, which I'm working on. It's $199. And certain bundles are still pretty expensive. So what I will do. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. And just go through this. And you'll see that's a bundle. That's why that's so high. And all these courses are 99. Well, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Where should I put this? Hmm. Where should I put this? I'm looking. Okay, I think I know where I'm going to put this. Uh, let's see, go here. Kind of close some of these windows because it's going to be. All right. Um, okay. Where can I put this? All right. I, I am not going to. Because it's like uh, where to hide money 101. I can teach you that. What to do if you're already on child support. How to live off the grid in plain sight. Okay. So. Because this is my life, man. This, this is what I went through. It's kind of interesting now that I really think about it. So let's see. I got a bundle. Let's see. Uh, right. Aha. I think, I think this is it. Disruptive mating, fat cats. Okay. Ah, there's a blank. Well, look at that. Let's see. Let me go preview. It's a blank in there. Well, let's, let's see. I, I need to make sure it's the right one. I'll find it out. Uh, let's see. Okay. Well, you know, uh, I will get back to the comments because I need to do something really quick. Show you all the stuff that I can do with Think of it. All right, so that's a blank. Is this it? Nope. 
that's not the one it's got to be one of these hold on just give me a second I will find it because it says blank Oh, that's why I can't find it. All right, here we go. We should we should move a little faster. Let's see, is this it? No. Okay. Which one is it? I need to label these things better. That's not it. Is that it? All right, so how to hide money? How to money save changes? Get rid of that one. So what I'm going to do, for those of you who need this stuff, go to Bundles, and Edit, because I'll find that. I just wanted to make sure that I had the stuff labeled correctly. Okay. Well, see, I got to add this now. So when you buy it, it'll be there because it doesn't update bundles after people buy them. So that's why I got to make sure I got to do this before I can tell you how, what to buy, where to get it. You know what? I can do cash flow intensive there because I know where that is. And I can do, because that, I can just change that. Oh, there it is. All right. So let's see, pricing. I'm going to do this because this is going to be crazy valuable. $2.99. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 299. All right. Because I will work on this. So, all right. So you'll get, yeah, this makes more sense. So it's not there yet, but I will do how to hide money. What if you're on child support already? How to live off the grid. I'll do those courses here. And you can get it for two ninety nine today. All right, so I will put that under the video. That's real funny. All right, so I would do this as a today's special. Two ninety nine, and boom, there you go. So it is now under the video. And let's see. Uh, what 
What's up, Charlton? Nope, not doing the notifications anymore. You're funny, trending business. <laughs> the Wild Jones report. What's up? You're funny. What's up, Firma? Rudy Dog, uh, there's uh, some stuff that I, I will. Let um, me just write this in there. <laughs> Can I form an LLC while married? Because there's a lot of things that go into that. So I'll put this in the course too. Uh. Dang, Sean, that's rough. What's up, Jane Montes? That's great, Sean. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Anthony Q, I have a holding company just stacking business credit while using your other LLC. Boom. <laughs> What's up, Jeremy? All right. So there you have it. Um, you can get the money. Let's see. Uh, today's special. Uh, I guess I need to put that up there. Uh, uh, edit that. <laughs> the subscriber count's dropping rapidly. It's like, oh no, he's trying to sell something. Uh, let's see. How to hide money. So I'll put that in the course. There we go. All right. There we are. Oh. <laughs> thanks perception media all right i'm about to bounce so you're to you know as you can see all of the hustler kung fu courses have been properly priced to help you out and the day special is how to hide money you know what'll be in there i'll start working on that soon there's already some stuff in there and i will see you guys later be sure to subscribe be sure to share this video with men who may need it which is probably every single man who's not gay. Probably gay dudes need it too. You never know. You never, never know. All right, you guys be good. I will probably see you, let's see, what time? Probably 5 o'clock tomorrow or a little earlier. So I'll be back 5 p.m. tomorrow. And with that, you guys have a great day. Hey, business school is in session. Learn how to make money, increase your wealth. One of the biggest problems I have is that people come to the YouTube channel, they'll see me and they want to get something, but they don't know where to start. So I have solved that problem today. If you're brand new, welcome. We're glad to have you. Look forward to serving you a long, long time. If you want to get this knowledge, if you want to start a business, I have created a blueprint, a roadway for you to actually start making changes in your life. Because this is one of the things that I have learned. When I was doing 30 days to 2,500, I learned that there were some people who did better than others. And I was like, why are these people doing better than other people? What's going on with these people? And what I have discovered, and let's see, let me go ahead and get that. What I've discovered is that people who came in with a business already 
they did really well with 30 days to 2,500. Remarkably well. It was like mind blowing for some of them. Then there were people who didn't do well. And these were people who did not have a strong mindset or were not in business. So what I've des designed is for you to go through this pathway because essentially when I get someone who's brand new to the channel and they've never had a business, there is so much work that has to be done. I mean, I know there's folks on the internet that makes owning the business, running the business look super easy and it's not. And it's one of the most complicated things that you will do in your life. But once again, people want the path of least resistance. That is not what we're going to have. So we're going to go here and we're going to go under. All right. So this is where you start. This is the uh, blueprint. First thing you're going to do is get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. That's your free audio book. That's where you're going to start getting that mind correct. Then you're going to move to this money management, the basics of finance and wealth development. Before you get new money, you must optimize the money you already have. If you, as it was said in the part of the live stream this morning, if you don't manage a little bit of money, well, you're not going to manage a lot of money. Well, it's the same person. The only thing that changes is the money. Look at the number of athletes who go broke. Because they've never learned how to manage money. They never learned how to compartmentalize, how to do the five checking account blueprint. They've not done that. So this is the, the first course you need. And I keep telling everybody that. I've had a lot of people who take this course and they booked a consult because they wanted to know more. So this is the course that you need. Then after that, we're going to go to the third course. Becoming a boss, you have to make this mental shift about being into a producer mode. So this is the third course you will take. And one of the things that I've done is I've priced this stuff so well that, you know, there, there is a few of you who are kind of sitting back, who are emailing me like, hey, I want to buy these courses. What's the best price you can give me? That never works. Those deals never materialized because they were required for me to sit on email and go back and forth with people all day. And it just typically doesn't work out. Uh, the courses are so economical. All right. This is what you're going to get after becoming the boss. This will be your fourth course. Uh, the Power of Six Productivity course. This course will help you get stuff done. This is a habit that you need to develop, how to manage your time, how to get stuff done. When you start a business, there's going to be so many things to do that this course will help you learn how to get stuff done, how to what's a priority, what's not priority. This course will do it for you. All right. So the fifth course you will get scripted days. This is a life-changing course. I think it's too cheap, but I want you guys to benefit. It will give you the power of written manifestation. It will straighten out your uh, bad habits. It will put you on the path of productive success. It will teach you how to, you know, set up a morning ritual, set up an evening ritual. A lot of things. This will be the fifth course. Now, these five courses in the free audio book will build a foundation. When I was doing 30 Days for 2,500, I had some students do amazingly well, and some students struggled. The people who did well already had A, a business, or B, a superior mindset. The foundational courses will give you the superior mindset. Let's say you're a person who wants to start a business but have no clue to where to start. This next section is for you. Typically, business success comes from practicing business skills. One of the best ways to do that is by reselling. You got to get your feet wet. This is where you will start with the reselling courses. 
Uh, this is a collection that gives you the storage auction book, the pimping Craigslist stuff, all of this stuff to get you geared for resale. How to have a great garage sale, all that. Now, once you've gotten the first five courses, your next move will be 30 days to 2,500. This course is for people who need to learn how to sell and how to sell and set up business. It will be thought provoking. This is also a good course for people with established businesses. Remember how I told you the people who had already businesses did extremely well. So go ahead. You know, if you have a business owner, if you go through because 30 days to 2,500 is a long course, it's going to take you about two months to go through it. But it'll be well worth it because in these two months, you're going to learn stuff. It's going to open up your eyes. It's going to create new shifts in how you think and how you do business. All right. Uh, the seventh course will be asking for the money, how to be an Uber salesperson. Now, don't get this course unless you have something to sell. Just reading a book, or reading a book about sales without having something to sell is a waste of time. You need to actually read about it and put this stuff into practice. And once again, uh, for all you folks who keep asking me about the Luponics book, I don't know the name. Can't remember the name of it. All I know is it had a red and black cover. Can't help you. People keep like, man, it sounds dope. What's the name? I don't know the name, man. I don't know the name. Just had to put that out there. All right. And for the business owners, this will be defined as people making money and paying their bills with the proceeds from the business. You know, if you got like a side business or something, and this might be for you, but this is for the business owners. You should get the art of holding on how to set up your legal structure. Structure. If you're a business owner making money, you are a target and you will need to protect yourself. Now, for the people who want to save some money, I have a curated bundle with all the courses except the art of holding to get you started and get your business aspirations. So this is the bundle that includes most of the courses. There you go. So if you are new to the channel and you're like, hey, where do I start? That's the pathway. That's the pathway to get started because from a foundational standpoint, you need to establish the foundation before you get off into trying to start your business. Because like I said, you know, I, I got a ton of feedback from 30 days to 2,500. And if I had been thinking, I would have did this like way sooner, but essentially taking those lessons derived from that course, you got people who are not mentally prepared to start a business. It's, it doesn't mean that they can't become mentally prepared. It's just a process. It's going to take them a little time to, you know, like you got kids. All kids don't learn at the same rate. You got some kids who learn slower, and but they can still get there. And essentially, this is what you will be going through with the foundational courses. They will help you get your mind right. This will help you get your mind right. The DSL Chronicles, hell yeah, they ain't going to buy people. I mean, seriously, I, I, I pretty much ignore those folks because I've been down that path before. Typically, the people who are like, I want this course, I want this course, I want this course, and who want to talk to me, uh, the number one reason that people want to talk to me is to get permission to do what they think they want to do. This like, well, if Glendon thinks this is cool. No, you, you need to give yourself permission. You need to validate yourself. You need to um, believe in yourself. Mike Ellie, this ain't no theory. This ain't no theory, man. These courses have come from my business experience. There is no theory here. Let's see. After Johnson, me and my cousin got busy today. We had a hard time starting our generator. It wouldn't start for our mobile watch, but we strung it together. 
made a hundred bucks for a few hours. See, once you go through this transformation, once you get that first good sale, that first load of money, it becomes addictive. It becomes very addictive. Now, what I'm going to do for the, you know, starting next week, there's going to be a lot of new training. So I'm going to do a video probably Sunday or Monday talking about the new training and how you can get a hold of that. Now, if you have never started a business, this stuff is good for you, especially 30 days to 2,500. And the money management course, I've heard, got a lot of feedback from that. People like it. It has helped them manage their finances because here's the thing. If you go ahead and start making a lot of money with your bad money management habits right now, it's the money's just you're not going to get the best use of the money. You you need to learn how to hold on the money. And this is what the course teaches you. So, you know, next week we will get into um the, the new stuff, but the new stuff will build on this. It won't be the same information. It'll be new information and more of it for business owners. I don't really have a lot of courses for business owners other than the art of holding maybe 30 days to 2,500 and asking for the sale. Those are only courses for business owners. Uh, a lot of this stuff is side hustle stuff. Uh, beginning business person. So once again, just go ahead. You know, if you're brand new to the channel, you just found this. Welcome. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, this is what we're going to do. Michael Gardner. So it's true. This guy I'm working for in real estate made like 15K and spent it all. People, that thirst, you know, that, that, that thirst is a big, big problem. That build up thirst of you wanting stuff, you want to live a certain lifestyle. Once again, the money management course will help you with that. Let's see where we are. Cool. Because what I'm, this is going to be a very short live stream because I'm going to take it down and I'm going to put it at the end of all the newer videos. So people who are coming into the fold, you know, the new folks, because I got a lot of new folks. I get, you know, emails and stuff like, hey, Glennon, man, I'm really excited. I like what you're saying. But where do I start? This is where you start. Okay. So all of the information is below. You can start with your first five foundation courses. Then start going wild on the other stuff. And very soon I will have some new information that will build on these principles that will take you to the next level. So with that, I will see you guys later.